The next tool we're going to talk about for authoring is the ability for an author to turn off uh, hover labels. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to create a new slide and we're going to do another plate layout. Let's go ahead and we're going to say, we're going to do this one. We're going to apply that blueprint. We're going to assemble it. And what you'll notice is uh, when I go and I look at this board, if I hover my mouse over something, I get the, I get the, um, the name of that board. So here's a common stud. Here is a king stud. And there may be situations or times where the author doesn't want to do that. Maybe they're asking a question or something and they don't want the user to be able to figure out the name of these things. So <clears throat> what you can do is you can check this button down here, uh, right here, uh, allow hover labels. You can turn that off. And if I disable that, now if I come over here and hover, that little tooltip does not pop up. So let's do this. Let's make a little description in here is of um, hover labels are disabled. And um, I'm going to go and just uh, not allow the user to toggle either. So we're not going to be toggling the wall state because you can't do as the hover labels in, uh, in the marking mode. So you can only use it in the assembly mode. So let's save that. Come back here. Come and rename this guy to um, disabled. Submit that, and let's see what that looks like in this uh, in consumption. So as a user, I come in here, and I'm in that slide. Actually, let's go to the previous slide where we did have the hover labels in, uh, available, and you can see they work. But now if I come to the slide where we have disabled the hover labels, you can see they do not work. 